Yo, what is going on guys? It's Mogul here, finally bringing you guys a new random story commentary. This is a story that pretty much all my friends know of, and to be completely honest with you guys, I am actually pretty surprised that I have not shared it with you guys yet. But nonetheless, this is going to be the story of a bitch that stole my iPod. Bitches these days, alrighty. So, a few years ago, I want to say 3 to 4 I got my first iPod. It wasn't just any iPod. It wasn't the iPod Shuffle. It wasn't an iPod Nano. It was the iPod Touch. I remember before I got it, I used to always go to the mall just so I can go into the Apple Store. Now, I don't know, maybe you lived on a farm and you're watching this video, but if you're not familiar with Apple products such as the MacBook, the Apple Store is not a store you walk into and then you see like a huge apple tree and you go around it and you pick apples, you know, oh, this apple looks nice, whoa, oh, this apple looks big and juicy, no, no. The Apple Store is a store which I'm, I'm almost positive that at least 99% of you guys watching this video, you know what the Apple Store is. It's a store that sells laptops, aka MacBooks iPods, iPads, iPhones, holy tits, I, 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 I can guarantee you if they came up with something new, they would probably call it the I something. Maybe not, maybe they would throw a curveball and come up with something a little different, you know, maybe something like the J-Pod, I don't know, something like that, because A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, oh, the next generation, let's just move it to the next letter. But uh, maybe not, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. But nonetheless, I used to always go into that store. I used to always go to the mall just to go into the store. And I used to always go straight to the iPod Touches or the iPhones and just sit there for a legit like couple hours just playing on them. You know, what a life I had. But uh, yeah, I used to have so much fun playing the games. Uh, I remember I used to always play Touch Grind. That's like a skateboarding game. is pretty sick. I used to go on the internet and uh, I don't know, I just had so much fun using them. Um, I think it was just like the whole touch screen thing, the technology, it blew my mind. I was just amazed and stuff. And I also remember there was the kids in school, they used to have like the iPhones, you know, there wasn't too many, but there was a couple of the, the couple of the kids that actually had the iPhones or the iPod touches. And uh, yeah, they were looked at like gods, like they were worshipped. I mean, if they pulled out their their phone in uh, like in lunch or study hall or something, like the whole crowd of kids would just crowd around them and just you know they'd shit their pants. You know they'd go up, holy shit, this kid has an iPhone. <laughs> shit, I shit my pants. And yeah, so I really wanted an iPod Touch or an iPhone because I just always thought it would be cool to be able to make people shit their pants whenever I felt like it. No, honestly, it's just I thought it'd be cool to be able to go into school with an iPod and then all the bitches staring at me and just, I don't know. Also, I always thought iPod Touches or iPhones just had like the greatest games and I just loved it. And uh, yeah, I really wanted one. Eventually, that day came, Christmas morning, little moldy Goldie woke up and seen three little rectangular prisms laying under the Christmas tree, and what do you know, my dad bought my brother, my sister, and I all iPod Touches, and it was pretty awesome, I loved it, and it was probably one of the greatest gifts I've gotten. So, about a year and a half goes by since I got the iPod Touch. You know, I'm still playing with it, but, you know, I'm I'm not using it all the time like I was when I first got it. I'm um, not getting sick of it, just, you know, I just, I don't know, I, I'm not using it as much. And, well, one summer day, my friends and I decided to go to a place called Darien Lake. For you guys that do not know what Darien Lake is, Darien Lake is a theme park or it's an amusement park. Not exactly sure which one, but it's a place with roller coasters, rides, games, all that fun stuff. It's a great place to go with your friends or family. Uh, not gonna lie, a lot of my life stories pretty much come from this place. But uh, yeah, so we ended up going there one summer day. And while waiting in line with one of my friends, it was uh, we're waiting in line for the roller coaster called the Mind Eraser. My friend realized that there were two bitches checking us out from behind so what my friend did was he looked at them made eye contact and said yo what's up bitches what are you staring at no i'm only kidding he didn't say that but uh he said hey and then he pretty much got us talking to him and what do you know 
One of them ended up becoming my girlfriend. So I met a random girl at Darien Lake. Bada bing, bada boom. She became my girlfriend. And to be honest with you guys, I don't even know how we lasted seven months. Pretty crazy to think about because this bitch lives two hours away from where I do. So it was quite the long distance relationship. But it, you know what? We somehow made it to seven months. But as soon as it got to that seventh month, it all went to shit. All right. Um, what happened was she said she uh, she dropped her phone in a lake, which even till this day I don't really understand how you can do that. What were you in a boat and then you had your arm sticking out of the boat just like texting? Whoop shit! I dropped it in the water. Ha! You know what I mean? I don't get how you can do that, but you know what? The bitch did it. She did the unthinkable, and now she had no phone. So Molgold, being the nice boyfriend that he was, he said, You know what? Here, you can borrow my iPod. You can download a texting app, and you know what? It's not going to be as good as a cell phone, but hey, it will work. So here you go. I'll let you borrow this. Two days later, this Oompa Loompa Ronald McDonald bitch tits hoe breaks up with me. And what do you know, Mrs. Sausage McTitties already has a new boyfriend one day after we broke up. Oh my goodness, I was angry. Very, very pissed off, not gonna lie to you guys. Especially for the fact that my ex-girlfriend still had my iPod. So, I decided to text my old iPod saying... Hey, I was wondering if I could have my iPod back. And what does the bitch respond back saying? Nothing. She ignores the message. So what do I do? I decide to hit her up on Facebook. I message her on Facebook. The bitch blocks me on Facebook. So I'm, I'm freaking out. I'm extremely pissed off. Five months go by and she finally responds. She finally texts me back using my iPod and she says, So sorry, it's just... I didn't want to hear your bullshit, Randy, blah, 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 but I am going to give you your iPod back. Don't worry. Just right now, I don't have the money. Money? What do you mean don't have the money? It probably takes $5 to ship the damn thing. Holy tits. You're going to tell me you don't have the money? But you know what? I just played it cool, and I said, that's fine. Take your time. As long as I get it back, I'll be happy. And what happened was we started talking a little bit more. She eventually unblocked me on Facebook and, it, you know, it was good. I was happy. I was, like, sick getting my iPod back. Once I do, I'm not going to be talking to this hoe anymore. But for now, you know, I'm just going to keep talking, blah, 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 just until she gives me my iPod back. Two months after she said she was going to give it back to me, she messages me on Facebook and says, Randy, I just want to say something. And I was like, oh, sick, she finally sent it. She finally sent the iPod. But no, it was the exact opposite. She said, Randy, I don't have your iPod anymore. Someone stole it when I was in the locker room. And I was just like, what do you mean someone stole it? Yeah, you're the bitch that stole it. But nope, she said someone stole it from her when she was in the locker room. And uh, yeah, so I said, all right. Give me my money then. Give me my damn money for the iPod. She said she would, and it was all good. Just kidding. It was not all good in the neighborhood. The bitch has yet to pay me back. Even to this day, I still have not got money for my iPod. But what's funny is for the fact that she bought herself a new cell phone. Not just any cell phone, not a track phone or crap phone. She bought herself the Samsung Galaxy S3 but she does not have enough money to pay me back. It's funny how when my iPod Touch goes missing or someone steals it from you, just randomly you have enough money to buy a new cell phone. Randomly, a wad of cash appears in your pocket. Alright guys, and that's just, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I know it was a long, long commentary. I apologize, but guys, thank you so much. It's more gold and I am out. Peace.